Blocking HRP linking and HRP labeling reagents from the ultrastreptavidin HRP detection kit are used in the following sections. Tissue permeabilization is recommended for intracellular targets after processing and preparation. Incubate slides with permeabilization buffer containing 0.25% Triton X100 in PBS for 30 minutes at room temperature. Then wash in PBS three times, five minutes each. Dry the slides carefully without disturbing the tissue. Apply serum blocking reagent number two included in the HRP detection kit to slides and incubate for a minimum of five minutes at room temperature. Prepare primary antibody solution in blocking buffer or antibody diluent buffer. Catalog number 926001 for purified antibodies at the recommended concentration. The proper diluent to use for the antibody depends on the antibody's format. Remove blocking buffer. Do not rinse. Apply antibody solution and incubate for an hour at room temperature. Incubation may vary depending on the antibody used. Rinse slides in PBS three times, five minutes each. Apply HRP linking reagent, biotinylated secondary antibody. Incubate for 20 minutes at room temperature. Use the appropriate biotinylated antispecies secondary. Rinse slides in PBS three times, five minutes each. Apply HRP labeling reagent, HRP conjugated streptavidin, two slides. Incubate for 20 minutes at room temperature. Rinse slides in PBS three times, five minutes each. Carefully dry slides without disturbing the tissue. Prepare DAB detection solution by mixing a 1 to 25 ratio of DAB chromogen to DAB buffer. Rinse slides in PBS three times, five minutes each. Carefully dry slides without disturbing the tissue. Add the DAB detection solution to the slides and incubate for five minutes at room temperature or until the desired color intensity has been reached. Clear slides of solution and wash with RODI, reverse osmosis and deionization water. Counter stain the slides by immersing in hematoxylin for 30 seconds before returning to RODI water. Rinse slides in running tap water to remove excess hematoxylin. Counter stain slides with bluing solution for one minute. Rinse slides in running RODI water to remove excess bluing reagent. Dehydrate tissue slides through four changes of alcohol for five minutes each. First with 95% ethanol, then three washes in 100% ethanol. Wash slides in three changes of xylene solution. Seal slides with mounting solution and a cover slip. The slides should be flipped and wiped dry.
slides can be stored at room temperature for at least five years. Learn more at www.biolegend.com microscopy.